Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we have a draw with me video and we are on episode two. If you have not seen episode one, I will leave it down below and also follow my Instagram to see all of my drawings that I've been doing lately. Today I will be drawing Coraline. I just finished reading the book and I was inspired to create my version of Coraline, like how I imagined her to look like. Okay, let's start. So for this canvas size, I chose the Instagram vertical size. I'll leave you guys the dimensions down below. I basically looked up like what's the maximum vertical size that Instagram allows. So what I did for this drawing, I actually have never done this before, but I put little color swatches on the side of colors that I want to use for this drawing and they are primary colors which is lovely we love primary colors um <laughs> anyways so actually as i said i i finished reading Coraline in the book at one point she is wearing what is described as a blue coat a red scarf and yellow wellington boots and wellington boots are like those rain boots that they're really well known like if you see a picture of wellington boots like you'll recognize them they're just like that standard rain boot yeah they're just like easily recognizable anyways okay so to my drawing process so i started out with the initial sketch and the sketch i always do in a 6b pencil so i'm still in the sketching process right now just kind of figuring out how I want her expression to be, what I want her to be wearing and stuff like that. So this is just loose, comfortable kind of sketch. I spent a lot of time on her face, like trying to figure out how I wanted her eyes to look like. I kind of wanted her to have like a bored look on her face because in the book, she's like very adventurous and she loves exploring all the time. And anytime she's not exploring, she's just like really bored. <laughs> So I kind of wanted her to have that expression. And she is also described as like tall and skinny. Like I imagine her just like lanky and bony. I don't know, you guys kind of get what I mean. But so for her clothes, I wanted her clothes to be like very, I wanted like the scarf to like consume her like she's buried in her clothes. I don't know, you guys kind of get what I mean, right? Like, because she's so skinny, like, none of her clothes fit her, you know? They're just too big on her. She's just small. Okay, anyways. So yeah, that big shape of her body, I just drew initially just so I could get an idea of how I wanted the jacket on her. But then this is where I started actually drawing the coat on her. And I wanted her arms, like, tucked in to her pockets, you know, because it was cold and I don't know. That's just how I wanted to pose her. <laughs> and I did kind of like draw her body on the inside just to use that as a guide and made sure that I got the proportions right. I will do that in my drawing sometimes. Ah yes, here is the fun part. So now I am starting the inking and I used the Gesinski ink brush. It's in the inking section and it's a Procreate brush. It's not like a new brush or one that I bought. Um, I have been messing around with this brush and I love the look of it and I felt it was perfect for this drawing because I wanted that kind of like illustrative like storybook children's book kind of feel to this drawing and I felt like that pen was perfect so that's why I used it and I started inking and doing the little crinkles in her coat doing some shadows a little bit of textured lines and I my favorite part was her hair I love the way her hair looked with the ink and the little like strands I don't know okay and now we're starting the coloring so for the color I used the gouache brush the procreate gouache brush and that is also another brush that I've been enjoying lately I've never actually painted with gouache, like, you know, physically in real life, and I was never really interested in it. I have this weird thing with, like, stiff paints, 
Like for most of my life, I've painted with watercolors and I just strayed away from like acrylic, gouache, or anything that is like, you know, quote unquote stiff. I liked the flow of watercolors better. Okay, I am rambling too much, I need to stop. But basically, I've just felt always intimidated by stiff paints, but I think I would like to try gouache for real one day because I don't know, I love the look of it. It's very opaque, it's very bright and bold, so I really enjoy that and I should try it out. Okay, so now I got all the color, I filled in the little shadows and I'm just doing the little details. I was doing the highlight on her boots and as you can tell, at first I was thinking about, you know, having her name on the screen, but I decided, no, nah, I don't want to do that. And then I kind of had a hard time figuring out what I wanted to do for the background. At first I kind of wanted this like eerie background where it's like super like chaotic with like the ink brush and you know, the black kind of darkness. And then I wanted to have her like glowing. I liked that idea, but I just wasn't liking the textured background. Like I felt like it was too messy, too busy. So I just went with like a solid black and i kind of like that i feel like she has this kind of ghostly look and you know the book is kind of creepy-ish so you know you get that creepy vibe without it being like too chaotic and for this last bit here what i did was basically i put the whole background black erased just a little sliver around her body and then i started just smudging it with my finger to kind of have this like expressive ghostly aura around her and yeah that is the finished drawing that i did i hope you guys enjoyed it i was really proud of this one because i created this like completely out of my imagination i had no reference it was just all in my head and it turned out really nice and i'm glad i got the proportions pretty okay so i'm just really proud of this drawing so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next week for my next video Take care, stay positive, and always be creative. See you next time. Bye!